Well, as we just mentioned, tomorrow is election day and there's a hot topic on the ballot in the village of South Gifford. Residents there will decide whether or not to dissolve their town. Here's Stephanie Claytor with our report. Now, the village of South Gifford was incorporated back in 1905. Many of the residents that have lived here for generations say that if the village is dissolved, they'll lose everything. We are fighting to try to keep the city of Gifford incorporated. We will lose so much if it's not incorporated. We'll lose the city streets, we'll lose the lighting. The people in support of keeping South Gifford Incorporated say the issue all started when the city council filed a lawsuit against Sean Roberts in order to get him to reopen a road near his property. They say after the lawsuit was initiated, he started passing around the petition to dissolve the village. We went to Mr. Roberts' home and his wife said there was no one there who could comment on the petition. We did run into one woman who signed it. She said she was misled. I thought it was just to get to get rid of the council, you know. And after I'd heard all this stuff, you know, and the threatening and everything, you know, that they was going around town even threatening people to sign the paper. I think we were a bit uh, misinformed of what they were trying to do because afterwards I found out that the reason why they want to get rid of everything because that way there's no rules and regulations. About 14 South Gifford residents met in the Village Park Monday afternoon to rally against dissolving the town. One of them said she won't be fooled by any threatening anymore. I have already forewarned anybody around town that, you know, if they start coming around threatening me, they're going to look at the double barrel. And I'm, I'm dead serious. I said, I'm not going to put up. My, my land is posted, no trespassing, and that's what it means. South Gifford residents will decide the town's fate during Tuesday's election. Voting will take place at the La Plata State Bank from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. In South Gifford, Stephanie Claytor, KTVO News.